Hello and welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming Rewind. Today we're going to be playing yet another challenging game. It's called Amagon. This is a sort of Contra-esque style, um, difficult title uh, where you are this guy running from left to right, as is typical with classic games with a gun. And uh, this is one of those games that just has one-hit kills and like five million cheap enemies. Holy crap, I'm dead in the thir first three millimeters of the game. Um, so I think we played Adventure Island um, about a week ago, and that game is challenging, um, but it's fun and challenging. Um, this is just frustrating and challenging. And uh, this is definitely not a game I would recommend playing unless you are the kind of person that loves like the dark demon souls, uh, constantly dying thing. Like, you got this thing that jumps out of a tree and dodges bullets. I mean, how is that fair? It's not. It's ridiculous. They got cutesy music in the background that just makes you just want to squeeze a puppy until it stops breathing. I didn't say that. I mean it. It's oh my god, it's getting to me. Got snakes, as every good forest should have plenty of snakes. You got bees that shoot fireballs. It's not a not a good thing to have. Don't get frustrated easily. This might be a day. This might be the day. Really crappy gun sounds. Mushrooms that jump up in the air. That did not hit me. That did not freaking hit me. Came over already. Uh, so typically we just play through like one or two playthroughs until I die, but like this is really rough. This is really rough. This just goes out to everybody that loves the difficult game. I think that's going to be the theme of this week's playthroughs. If you love difficult games, buy yourself some NES titles. With mushrooms and birds that will just fuck you up. Music isn't that great. It's kind of cutesy. Did that just give me a life? That's pretty cool. I just want to kill this thing. You know, at least, like, lay down on the ground and hopefully dodge things. Starting to learn. Starting to learn. So that at least is one good thing about some of these classic difficult games, is you die again and again and again until you learned what it was trying to get you to do. Some of them, though, are just, like, unbeatable. There are several games that were made by developers back in the day that never finished the game and just shipped it early um, because they knew that were there were parts of the game that were completely unbeatable. And then years later, when people dumped the ROMs and uh, figured out a way of cheating, or when the Game Genie came out, um, those games were... Uh, suddenly beatable and uh, those developers were found out um, I think the biggest example in my mind right now is uh, probably Smash TV um, I think it was the arcade version though that was unbeatable I think the NES version was beatable they had added a level in uh, I don't own Smash TV so I've never actually played it <clears throat> that's one that uh, jumps to my mind um, I'm gonna kill myself if this uh, music gets stuck in my head all day. Only in Nintendo games can animals that look like little rabbits and squirrels shoot crazy amounts of fireballs. I did not hit that dude! Come on! This is ridiculous. 
You guys might see me get angry. I'm not breaking things. I'm not breaking things. Come on, man. Jump down. I don't know if these are mushrooms or what. Imagine how you'd be tripping balls. If you saw mushrooms dancing around. That would be actually a crazy game for the time, uh, which would be kind of kind of appropriate for the 80s. It is uh, if a developer had grown up with uh, you know some hippie parents, or if they had taken some some bad drugs or something at a party, and just made a game that was just nothing but you know tripping on acid. That's the first time I've fallen in the water. This is embarrassing. I'm gonna have to play something super easy later today, just feel good about myself. Can't even get past the first level. I'm using up all my bullets on mushrooms. <clears throat> At least I'm starting to learn where creatures are going to be. That guy didn't jump down, now I'm confused. I'm so confused! Whoa! Snakes can jump? I think this is going to be our last life, because um, I need to take a breather here. Her last, last life. Once I'm dead here, okay. That was Amagon. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna ever play this game again. Unless you hate yourself, you probably shouldn't be playing this game either, because this was so freaking difficult and so cheap. So unless you're gonna dedicate hours and hours of memorizing every sick game, every freaking Spider and like what I don't even know what's on the cover. You got a dude shirtless and you got a robot in the background Like I mean it makes you think that it's gonna be cool at some point in the game But how far do you have to freaking get before you get there? Don't play this game unless you hate yourself Amagon this is the first time I'm gonna tell you don't waste your time. There's better games out there. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated right now. I'm gonna go play something fun.